Hey guys, welcome back to my corner. Welcome, this is my corner, I'm Kia, and not much happens in my corner, but I would appreciate if you join me in it because sometimes we have fun, sometimes it's lame, but isn't that just how life is? If you're not subscribed and you watch my videos, then you should subscribe, um, comment, whatever you wanna do. Make sure it's nice though. I don't really need any more drama or hate in my life. <laughs> right now I'm sweating really bad because I, a lot is going on, but I'm in my apartment in my room and I am stressed to the most highest level. My apartment is a disaster. Um, that's just all I'm gonna say. And every time I clean it, it'll be clean for like a week. And then for some reason, I'm just really bad at keeping my apartment clean. When I first moved in, the smallest little crumb, I like wiped it away. Like my apartment was like out of a magazine. I never let it get gross. Never let it get dirty. I never let my laundry pile up. Well, that was before my washer started leaking, my dryer squeaked. But anyway, I have a lot going on. I'm super stressed out. I've been staying with my mom for like the past week and I plan on staying there a couple more days because my apartment, I have this window right here in my bedroom and the window in my living room and that's it. It's super dark and dungeony. It's just not very welcoming. And I try, the colors I put into it are very bright and vibrant. I try to cheer it up a little bit. I don't know, I'm just starting to not love this space anymore. And I feel like I don't wanna be here, which is not good. I feel like I never wanna be in my apartment, which is not okay. But I also do not want to try to look for another apartment because I just want to, I don't want to go through that whole process. Like a down payment and a, like a deposit. I just don't want to have to go through all that. So I'm stuck here. It doesn't help that it's a disaster. And I think that's one of the reasons why I never want to be here is because it's a mess. And I'm, instead of just cleaning the mess, I just leave. And I think that's very bad. So this week, not today, because today I am exhausted mentally and physically. I need to get my apartment together. If I look away from the camera, it's because I'm looking at all the messes and I'm not going to show it because some people will understand and some people will just judge and, you know, I'm a human so I always pay attention to the people that judge me. But, um, I haven't been here for a few days so I had to just turn my air on just now. Uh, but I do want to share something really positive with you guys that I decided to start doing and hopefully somebody out there can give me some tips and advice because I need it. Um, I started a new hobby because I needed a hobby. Not only that, I wanted to find a hobby that I can really sometimes turn into something bigger than just a hobby. And so I decided, I'll tell you in a minute because I need to go to the bathroom. But anyway, so I decided to take up a new hobby, like I said. It's something that I actually don't know why I didn't think about sooner because um, I'm obsessed with jewelry. I love jewelry. I have. This necklace on now I got this at forever 21 it's like a butterfly necklace but you can even make it a choker like it can get tighter or looser um anyway I always loved jewelry like I've always loved it um okay I don't want to say always because the past year or so is when I've noticed to take a big interest in like really wearing it I've kind of always loved jewelry but like wearing it not so much <laughs> but jewelry is always so cute beautiful to me I think it like it accents people's skin tones and eye colors and things. I just don't always get to wear it because well I forget to put it on or I'm always at work. But I decided to take up a new hobby. You probably already know what it is by now because what I'm talking about. To let some natural lighting in. That looks better. I'm not a camera expert, but anyway, to the point. Um, I decided to take up jewelry making and like I said, I wanted to take up a hobby that could somewhat become bigger than a hobby. Like I can really get into it and start selling jewelry, like having my own business. I've come up with my own business name and everything. Like I'm really serious about this. Right now I'm starting with the basics and that's making beaded things because I never did that as a kid. I feel like most girls as a kid like get into like the bracelet making thing. I never did that. So I have like two things full of, well, two things of, um, these beads I got at Walmart. I have these ones that have more neutral colors and then these ones that are like vibrant and then this I got at Hobby Lobby so this has okay so I had a phone call while I was trying to tell you guys about my jewelry excursion so basically I decided to take up jewelry making was what I was trying to explain and I think I got through that explanation but I'm not sure what all I got through but 
I got like beads and stuff to start off with that just like from the basics because I never did that as a kid like when little girls made like little beads on those like elastic bands and that's kind of like back in style like people are buying those type of bracelets with the letters on them I didn't buy any letters because I don't know why I just bought two things of beads like I showed you the neutral colors the vibrant colors I also got this little one from Michaels that kind of has like I don't know how to describe these. There's like solid colors and there's like marbled looking ones. And then these ones I'm not a fan of. I haven't used them on anything, but anyway. So I got those. And then I got some uh, hemp cord. And then I also got this hemp cord. This hemp cord I actually like better. I actually got this at Walmart. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. This one is thicker and easier to use. And honestly, how I envision it is using all three of these at the same time and like taking the ends of it and kind of like meshing it together somehow and layering it and then putting like jewels, I mean, like charms and beads and stuff on there, making a nice cute hemp bracelet. When I think of hemp bracelets, I think of the summertime, like a summer anklet or a summer bracelet. So I, I got these charms. Um, I'm gonna make like an anklet or something with these. I haven't really, one of them's missing because I made a really cute bracelet with it the other day, but when I, I took the bracelet off to kind of tighten it a little bit more and all the beads fell off. So if you have any jewelry making tips below um, uh, at all, leave them below because I really need help. Um, and then I also got this book so when I start getting really legit, I can take people's orders. And then I got this organizer from Hobby Lobby and so far I have like some beads in here. I have earring backs. Um, like some closures in here that you can connect to necklaces and stuff and then I have like the thing that you put your earring on just like the I don't know what these are called I forget but I got those I just have a random chain in here I got for some reason and then some butterfly charms I wouldn't make earrings out of those and then I got these charms which there's a blue moon here, but I went to make earrings with the blue moons on both of these and realized that all my closures are silver and the hook on here is gold, so it didn't look right. So I gotta go get some gold ones. Um, and then I just have like these little baggies. I don't know, I just got these so um, when I'm working on something and I don't wanna like lose the pieces, I can just put it in a baggie. So that's all I have, really. Um, I've made this bracelet so far. This one I really love. I'm proud of this one a lot. So it's just like some marble pink beads on um, this like elastic um, stretchy cord. And then, um, yeah, I love this. Like it looks like one of those like bracelets people buy, like the healing bracelets or whatever, like with the one little random black bead. I really love this. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. And my jewelry business is going to be called K Jewels. And I have this really old, ugly, like, label maker. There's one I want to get at Michael's that, like, connects to your phone and you can put, like, pictures and symbols and stuff on it. And that's what I want to get. So when I buy things like this, this had um, earrings, my Demon Slayer earrings in it. So when I buy stuff to package my jewelry and sell it, I can put my symbol up here, K Jewels. I was going to call myself K Jewelers, <laughs> but just the K. But I feel like that's not original. But K Jewels. That's what I'm going with so far. If somebody else out there ends up coming up with a better idea for my jewelry name, I'm definitely taking recommendations. So far, K Jewels is what I got, and that's what I'm sticking with. But yeah, so that's my new uh, hobby, and I'm very excited because I needed something. I was going to start making wax and candles, um, but I'd, that just didn't seem like something I wanted. I was interested in making jewelry just like randomly came to me one day, and I was like, oh, I should do that. So I'm very passionate about it, even though I don't really know much about it. But I'm going to try to learn as much as I can. So I just look at that. I love it. So yeah, that's what I am doing right now. I'm not really going to make anything right now. I just kind of had it all out so I could show you guys. Um, I have written down some things I need to get. I need to get super glue and jewelry. Somebody called them jewelry tweezers, and then I looked it up on YouTube and watched some videos, and they were calling them pliers. I don't know. I'm new to this. But, if, like I said, if you guys have any tips for making jewelry below, leave them. I want to start make. I want to make earrings, necklaces, bracelets, whatever. Just anything. Um, but I'm trying to, like, educate myself on all this stuff. A bunch of stuff on Amazon I want to get, but I'm broke right now. I can't get it. But I love my bracelet that I made. I made this yesterday. I feel like it looks like... 
I feel like this is going to be something I keep as an example of my work, so I kind of don't really want to wear it. Uh, but I had it on today just because I was really proud of it. Well, that's it for now. Uh, it's a beautiful day out, but I've already been outside a lot today, and I'm kind of just taking it easy now. Um, I've been stressed a lot today. I have some laundry to put away and some more laundry to do. And luckily, like, my house looks like it's a mess, but it's really just I need a fold-out blanket to put that book bag away. My kitchen is clean. My laundry room area is clean. But I wanted to let you guys in on my jewelry excursion. And then these, I got these earrings at, um, what's it called? Uh, I don't even remember where I got these. I, either Hot Topic or Spencer's. But they're Tondra's earrings from Demon Slayer. I freaking love these. I did not make them, by the way. I bought those. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for now. And stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. I'm sure I'll forget to vlog and have to pick it up like eight days from now. Ooh, I forgot I had... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get to use these. May 11th through the 24th. I have a $20 off a $50 purchase. I have two of these for Victoria's Secret. I'm going to have to give those to somebody. That's it for now. I got to go... Oh, I don't gotta go, but I ain't got nothing to do. But I don't want to sit here and bore you guys any longer than I already have. So I think I'm going to take a shower because I'm sweating like a mother. I turned the air off so I could talk to you guys because it's like literally right there. I didn't want it. To, I didn't want to be yelling over it. So talk to you guys on the flip side. Peace. Okay, so I wasn't going to make anything. I was just going to sit on my couch, but then I was sitting on my couch. I'm like, I need to be doing something. So, um, I made a bracelet with some hemp cord. I'm just, just trying to try things out. I put it in this baggie and put my label on it like I'm somebody. But I made a Naruto theme bracelet for Michaela because she loves Naruto. It's like, uh, it's blue, orange, yellow, and white, which is kind of like Naruto's colors. I think it looks pretty legit. And so I want to fit it to her wrist. That's why I haven't got rid of all this excess cord. But I got a nice mess over here on my dining table. Oh, I'm sweating. But I am going to get in the shower right now, actually. I got my clothes to get into the shower. I just want to show you guys my bracelet. And I should... Hmm. She's coming over to help clean my house with me. I'm trying to set up I should take a shower after that. But I really need a shower. If I have to take another one later, that's fine. But I need one because I normally... When I'm on... Okay, when I go to work, I work a second shift job. And so I normally sleep all day, get ready for work, go in at night. I typically don't shower before work. I shower after. And then, but on the weekends or when I'm off, I usually shower at the beginning of my day. But today I didn't do that because I knew I was about to be going outside in the heat. And I feel like I stink. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a shower. And if I need another one after I clean, whatever. But I just feel like I can't wait any longer. <laughs> okay, guys, it's the next day. Um... I am straightening up my kitchen table because I have all my jewelry stuff on it and I made something yesterday and I didn't clean up after I made it and now it's a big mess which is usually what I do so nothing really new. Um, today I have to go to work. <laughs> Yay! And I'm excited. I'm so I ended up, I don't know what got in me yesterday but I ended up like deep cleaning this like hallway that leads to my apartment and another apartment that's next to mine because it's it leads to the outside and it's always disgusting there's like leaves and dirt and grass and this nastiness in there and it like it tracks into your apartment when you and I only use this door because my car like that's where the cars go so I deep cleaned like this my floor like I swept it real good and mopped it with my Swiffer and then I'll show you guys Maybe. Yesterday I swept and mopped that, but the neighbor lady always leaves that door open because her cat is an outdoor cat and she leaves it open for the cat. But yesterday I like swept it like really good and mopped it with my sofa and bleached it a little bit. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing yesterday after the last clip and then I 
took a walk. I should have just vlogged all that, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. Took a little walk because it was beautiful outside. Sat on the porch for a little bit and listened to all of the nature. As you guys probably heard a little bit in that clip, there's tons of nature in my back area of my apartment because it's like in a wooded area. There was a deer out there yesterday. I don't know why I didn't vlog it. Like I literally was thinking about it. I'm like, no, I don't. That'll be boring. That'll be lame. I should have vlogged it. So yeah, I just kind of enjoyed my own company and then I went to bed. And I did not sleep well at all. I was sweating so bad, for one. And then I just could not get comfortable. It was just a rough night. I'm not, I, like I told you guys yesterday, I've been staying with my mom. And I really wasn't ready to come back home. But I kind of had no choice. Kind of had to get out of her space. I am beautiful. No matter what they say. Words can't bring me Oh. <clears throat> I'm trying to get some natural light in here. I didn't think I had any food. Okay, so I have cereal. I love cereal, but I don't have any milk. And I didn't think I had, and I have waffles, but I'm not eating a waffle without milk. I'm weird. I didn't think I had anything else to eat, so I was about to just not even come in the kitchen and look. I'm glad I came in here because I forgot. I have bagels, and I love a good bagel, so I haven't opened this bag of bagels in a while. I'm surprised they're still good. Michaela, the last time I opened these bagels, Michaela was here, and that was like March. I had made her half a bagel because she doesn't, she eats like a baby, like a little kid. Like she nibbles and then wastes stuff, so I made her half a bagel. Now I get to choose what kind of crying tray. I gotta show you guys something so frustrating. So I go to the grocery store so le so rarely. Oh. Anyway, I go to the grocery store very little, like almost never. And when I do, I can't remember what I need when I go. I don't I'm I don't go do inventory in my kitchen and look and see what I need. I just get what I know I don't have and what I know I want, which I guess I, I the one thing I always think I don't have is syrup and I always buy a bottle of it and I always come home to put it away where I normally put my syrup and there's syrup down there. So I have this bottle of syrup. And then the last two times I went to the grocery, I bought syrup because I thought I needed it. So I guess I'm not going to need syrup for a while, but I bet you I'll forget the next time I go to the grocery store and still buy some because that's how it works. Get me a little marble plate. I like having this extra space in my kitchen because I don't like keeping my toaster on the counter. I like to keep it in this little cabinet down here so it's not like out. I'm going to do blueberry on one side. Strawberry on the other. I also have a little mini Keurig. This pink Keurig. It's literally gray and pink like my apartment. I was obsessed with it. The minute I seen it, I knew I had to have it. Even though I like drink coffee once a year. And then I put my little cups down in this drawer. I kind of mostly did it to just kind of be aesthetic. And when Michaela, when me and her, you know, were a thing. When she was here a lot, I used to have coffee here for her because she's a coffee fanatic. So that's really what it was there for. And sometimes, sometimes I want a cup of coffee, especially in the summertime. I know it sounds really weird. You would think, you know, but in the summer mornings when it's nice out and the birds are chirping, I like to just sit on my porch and have like half a cup of coffee. So I'm just not, not a coffee person. Ooh. I could get a spoon and just eat these cream cheeses. I don't know if that's gross. Find all the water. But I love cream cheese. So if that's a gross what? Oops. Because I love me some cream cheese. I'm about to eat my bagels. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Well not really a get ready with me. I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys while I get ready for work. Um because I have, first of all, my skin on my neck has always been so sensitive. Like, I could scratch it, barely touch I have all these, like, scrapes and scratches. I have my name tag on for work, and the this part always stabs me in the neck. This jacket on because I have on my work shirt, and it has the name on it, and I work in healthcare, so that's HIPAA. I don't want to have my name of where I work on my shirt. But I just kind of want to come on here and talk to you guys because I... I am trying to take my channel in a direction of not just vlogging pointless stuff for my channel, 
When I first got into YouTube, I got into YouTube with the twins. It, our purpose was to entertain and spread awareness for cystic fibrosis. I feel like I kind of lost my drive once they died to spread awareness for CF, and I realized I'm doing a terrible job of spreading awareness. Like, I'm doing terrible, and I feel like they'd be very disappointed in me because I promised them I would keep their name alive and keep, you know, spreading awareness for this disease, uh, not only for them, but because they have an older sister who has CF, um, and for all the other CF warriors out there. But also, me, myself, what I struggle with is mental health, and very heavily. And so, Mental Health Awareness Month and CF Awareness Month are both in May, and I feel like I should be doing way more than I have done this whole month. Like, it's getting to the end of May, and I've done literally nothing on my YouTube channel to, to spread awareness. But my point in saying this is, I want to start taking my channel back in the direction that I was going to take it in after the twins died, and that is keeping their name alive and spreading awareness for CF, and then also spreading awareness for mental health and talking about it, sharing my experiences. And it's harder for me to spread awareness about CF now that they're gone because I feel like I've already told, like we, I've already told you the things that I could tell you that they've told me. There's nothing else I can really say because I don't have CF and I don't watch two people go through it every day anymore. So it's harder for me. I don't want to speak on something I don't have all the facts about. I don't want to speak on something I personally don't struggle with because I don't want anyone to be offended. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to approach spreading awareness for CF. And so that's why it's kind of taken me a while to get on that train. But I can definitely talk about mental health because unfortunately I struggle with that on a level that is unimaginable. I have filmed a video about some of my experiences with mental illness and I think I'm going to post it. But if you are interested in that type of stuff, then please let me know in the comments because I really need video ideas. I hate just vlogging random stuff. Like, I vlog a lot and then edit it and realize it's the most boring content in the world and I don't end up posting it. I really want to take my channel in different directions. So, I want to start spreading awareness again for CF and start spreading awareness for mental health too. I need ideas down below what you guys like to see. So, I just want to do it justice. I don't want to like make it sound like a joke i how i deal with things is i like to make it light and so i sometimes make jokes or laugh and i don't want that to offend anybody try to find the best way about going about spreading awareness for both illnesses um i know i used to i had a subscriber who used to watch my videos who had cf um and a lot of you guys came from the Salt Sisters channel to my channel, um, and I'm sure there's other people out there who struggle with mental illness, so I kind of want to make my channel have a, more of a purpose than just aimlessly posting, so that's what I'm trying to do. Everything that I dreamed of doing on YouTube kind of went down the twos when the twins died, because I kind of just felt like, where do I go now? Like, everything we worked towards, I was like, it's just gone because they're gone because they were super creative we all of our minds together was beautiful but like my mind by itself is not that good i suck at coming up with ideas i suck at talking you know that's all i ever want to do so i'm trying to figure things out for my channel and not only vlog because i feel like i have the most boring life you will ever see i do appreciate the people that do watch that does mean absolute world to me and the people who comment nice things that is special to me too so yeah so that's what my plan is to just make my channel more worthwhile and to have more of a purpose i thought about downloading tiktok and doing it through that instead because i feel like that's more of a modern thing to do i feel like people kind of aren't really on youtube anymore this is what the twins wanted and i want to still honor them this is what we wanted as aka was entertaining people through YouTube and to spread awareness so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to get the ball rolling on my YouTube channel I'm gonna keep trying to spread awareness for both things hopefully I do it justice hopefully there's people who come along on the journey with me and help me and we work together share each other's stories instead of coming at each other we can help each other you know use social media for a positive reason 
as I feel like it was intended to be used for. <sighs> but yeah. So, because I'm, I want to say I'm a small YouTuber. I feel like a small YouTuber is somebody with like a thousand subscribers. I wouldn't even consider myself a YouTuber because I literally barely have any, but I'm grateful for who does pay attention to me. And that's why I always try to thank those of you who are watching every video because I don't have very many people. So people who are watching, I appreciate. So hopefully you guys will come along with me and help me and give me ideas. Things I could talk about CF related. If you have questions, you can ask. Things I can talk about mental health related. If you have questions, you can ask. That's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys later. This will probably be the end of the vlog, most likely because I talked a lot in this clip. Thank you so much for ending this vlog. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.